Hey guys, it's Danny. So one thing Cattleya orchids, not only some other sympodials do, is they tend to grow sometimes at a very awkward angle, especially if you grow them in front of a window. So not with light from above, like from a grow light, the new growths will sometimes try to grow towards the window, towards the light source. And in cultivation, that can be rather annoying because they can grow into the window and then if the window is hot, they can get burnt leaves. Or vice versa, if it's cold, they will get cold damage. Also, it's easier for you to snag your clothes into their foliage. And overall, it is better to keep orchids tidy in our homes for their own protection and also your own comfort. Well, what I discovered is that the growth is easier to correct when it's completely mature rather than when it's growing. When the new growth is young, let's say a few centimeters or inches long, you might have noticed it is quite rigid. It is not a good idea to try and bend it at that stage, particularly if it grows on a horizontal very, very steeply. Once it becomes a little larger, it can become more flexible, so you can try to bring it closer to the mother pseudobulb, but actually the safest and the easiest, if you can wait that long, is to try and stake the canes once they are mature, because they are extremely flexible. So, what I like to do is use a bamboo skewer, you can use an orchid stake, whatever you like, and just straighten the growth and pin it to the stake. At maturity, the growth is not sensitive anymore and it is quite flexible from the base. If you look at the vast majority of cattleyas, you'll discover that the base tends to be rather thin in comparison to the actual pseudobulb and the leaves. These structures can be quite thick and not flexible, but the very start of the pseudobulb is flexible, so you can easily correct it at this stage. So if you have an orchid that grows like this, it's absolutely fine. This is their nature. And of course, in nature, there's nobody really bumping into them, smashing them on the floor, snagging against their leaves. But in cultivation, in our homes, it's a very different story. And it's good for the orchid to be protected, to be tidy. And when it comes to cattleyas, this is how I prefer to do it. I'll link it down below to more videos in which I stake plants if you're interested, but I hope this quick tip will help you out. And to try and prevent these types of growths from happening, you can always position the orchid with the new growth opposite to the light source. So let's say you have the light source here, this is the growth you're trying to correct. Position it opposite so that it tries to start and grow this way. It's not always going to work, it's not always going to look nice but you can shape pseudo bulbs and growths with light. So try that out, but if it doesn't work, wait for the growth to become almost completely mature and then you can definitely stake it. Alrighty, so that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time. Bye.